So today we're introducing G3000 Prime. It uses a new hardware, so we got touch on the primary screens here. As, as we continue to have touch on what we used to call the GTCs, uh, we now have touch uh, everywhere. It's got new hardware, new software. User interface has been built for touch, so uh, things that are buttons are, are large and touchable, but it is a new user interface. It's, it's uh, built for speed, and I think it's going to make the pilot community uh, very happy to use it and, and uh, feel very at home. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. Garmin's taken the best of G1000 and the G3000 that's currently uh, in the field, and we really wanted to make a user interface that was fast, intuitive, easy to use, you know, taking all the lessons learned from the G1000, G3000 systems as of today, and I wanted to create a system that was revolutionary with uh, state-of-the-art state you know, technology into edge-to-edge -edge glass, a super fast processing. Something that the industry, I think, needs and wants is to, to be able to have that performance and flexibility and scalability. Uh, this system can support multiple types of aircraft from the, the single engine turboprops uh, to advanced air mobility market. So I think some of the flagship features, uh, some of the things we're really proud of uh, are the ability to quickly access uh, access uh, applications. So on the, on the primary display units, you have a quick access bar at the bottom where you can quickly access the, you know, the map or traffic charts. There's just one, one button press away. So, so many things in this flight deck have become just one button press away, including like systems pages that may sometimes uh, be a little uh, farther down in the system. In our previous flight deck, now we've got touchable EIS where I can just touch the, the engine indication strip and get to systems or sub pages that are sometimes you know, a little farther down. The, just, I think, the intuitiveness to be able to grab and get to the flight plan, it's, it's always one button press away. So those are, I think, some of the, some of the best features. In addition, um, linked views. So needing additional real estate, so I'm looking at the flight plan on the SDU, and I want to kind of see end to end of the flight plan. I can just have one button press that brings up the entire flight plan from end to end on the map here, and I'm able to kind of just go through it with just a quick button press on the SDU and have that extra real estate on the PDUs there. So any, uh, any application that I can run on the primary, I can actually run down here as well. So it's fully flexible from where you want to run an application. I mean, if I wanted to, I could actually put a map down here, where previously the maps were only on the main screens. And they're now fully available anywhere in the flight deck. So G3000 Prime is currently slated to be servicing the forward pit market. So these will be installed in, uh, in factory aircraft for now. And potentially this could be a retrofit item as well. But for the, for the foreseeable future, this will be a forward fit only platform.